Welcome to the Homemaking Exchange. My name is Diana and I hope that you're doing well. In this video, I'm making some homemade cinnamon applesauce. First thing you do is get three pounds of apples. I'm using gala apples, but any sweet apple will work. Peel the apples make sure you get off as much peel as possible and then wash them up really well and get ready to cut the core out of each apple. This is a good time to use up any apples with soft spots. So if you have any, don't throw them out. You can use them in this recipe. To core the apples, I cut them in half and then I cut each section in half again so that the apples are in quarters. And then I can easily cut out that core from the center of each section. Make sure that you got it all. You may have to go back in and cut it out a little bit more, but just make sure there's no hard pieces left. Get the core out of all of your apples and once you've done that, you're gonna take each section and cut it in half again so that you have smaller slices. So you should have eight slices from each apple. You want them to be about the same size so that they'll cook evenly. Once they're all cut up, put the apple slices into the bowl of a crock pot. Spread them out and sprinkle them with cinnamon. Add lemon juice and water. No sugar added for this one, so it's healthy applesauce. Cover it and cook it on high heat for three hours. Stop to stir it halfway through. Here's what it looks like. The apples will have softened up some, but they're not completely broken down yet. So you're gonna put the lid back on and continue cooking it for the remainder of the time. And here's how it is when it's all done. The apples are really tender. You could eat it chunky like this, but I like to break it down even more by getting a potato masher and just breaking up any big chunks of apples. If you like it even smoother, you could use an immersion blender and just carefully blend that up. You can eat this warm, but the flavor is actually better if you let it cool down first. We really like this applesauce on some buttered toast or some biscuits. It's really good on either one. If you're interested in the recipe, you can find all the information in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching.